Hello, how you doing today again? Welcome to another episode of Ubuntu and Open Source. So, post install. What to do after you get your Ubuntu install? Well, you can get the computing right away, but there's really not much there to use. And the clock here, well, it seems to be doing its own thing. And let's get my file open here, post install. Oh, yes. And most people don't know. that the firewall is not turned on by mistake. Just like this here feature, I think should be done by default as well, but it's not. So let me show you the status here. I'm going to copy and paste this command here. Copy, paste our password that we created when we installed it. Inactive. So sudo the UFW, which is the firewall, is inactive. Let me s install another application for you. We could either do this by terminal Or there is a graphical user interface. Where the G comes in. See, I already typed my password for the UFW, so it remembered that and now it's installing it. I didn't have to type in my password again. Sometimes it will let you do that. And as you can see, firewall, status, off, same as inactive. And now we're on. So if I do sudo ufw status again, now it says it's active. Just a little tip there. Post install. Turn on your firewall. Okay. Clock. So let's go to a website here in Firefox. And what you see me doing is what's called arrow snap. I hit my Windows key. I either hit the up, down, left, and right. Okay, so where I'm getting ready to bring you to is customizing the clock. As you can see right here. Customizing the clock, the Ubuntu clock. And so, this is what its default's doing. It has 24 hour time, the day, and the month, day, and the year. Now, if you really want to get into it, Everything here after advanced is all this here. So you're free to look at it. I'll put a link in it in the description. So, digital clock settings. 
this above, layer it always on top, makes it easier. And so these are my personal clock settings. Copy, paste. And as you can see, it already changed. There's the day, I mean the month, day, and the year. Now it has 12 hour time. So if we come down here that a capital D uh, is equivalent to percent month perc slash forward slash percent lowercase d forward slash lowercase y. So the percent m, small m, is the month as in decimal number 0 through 12. Well, 0, 5 is May. And so on and so on. For the time as well. Percent I, hours, minutes, And then the lowercase p with the percent um, 12 hour clock mode. Tooltip format. I like to put it in bold. And the center. This one's a little longer. So I have a lot of more information in here. And you'll see when I get it in there. See, it has two, two lines. It has the day, Tuesday, the month, where the day, Tuesday, is a capital A over here, capital B, would be the month, lowercase d, is today, May 1st, and then comma with the capital Y for the year. Now to get to the next line, you just do a percent with a lowercase n. And of course, you can research the rest. I have the hours, minutes, this time with seconds with the PM and the percent with the capital Z as being the time zone I am in, which is Alaskan. Right there. Like I said, this link will be provided. So this is a couple of post install tips. Now the next one is about a script. I have it named Ubuntu.sh. And these are pretty much the applications that I know and I do check from time to time. I check some of these, not all of these. Um, like one time, uh, my other previous one right in here, I had UNET boot instead of X saying. UNET boot does not seem to be in the repository, the Ubuntu repositories anymore or currently at this time. So I put Xane in there instead. So what I do is I go to the directory where the file is, tools, open, terminal here. I'm gonna type ls so you can see. 
uh, Ubuntu.sh. Then I'm just going to copy and paste it. Password. And here we go. So this might take a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and pause and let this run. Okay, looks like it has finished. Oops, unable to locate package Libre menu. That's okay. Seems like to install everything else. K3B, Audacious, Keddy and Live, Open Shot, Simple Screen Recorder, of course, I've already had installed. The LibreOffice Package, yes. Chromium, yes. You get. Over here on Graphics, LibreOffice Draw, uh, draw Inkscape, GIMP, Blender. Okay, so what happened to graphics? It's supposed to be dark table and some more. Raw therapy scribe is my paint. Luminance HDR. Looks like I might need to uh do some tweaking here to this. Graphics. Inkscape install, Blender install, simple scan. Why? The rest. So, what I'm going to do is just copy. That script line. And see what it says to me. Data extra, unable. Did I do a typo? And see, this is why I like to, uh, when I do something like this, run a script, break it down into sections. Because one boo boo and that whole section will decide not to work. Gimp. Now I know that the Gimp data extras are in here. Right there. Oh, I didn't put an S. Not extra, it's extras. You see a simple typo. Go around there. Follow it back. Snapping package managers currently being admin. And look at that. Just because of one letter, all my graphics decided not to install. 
So, I'm going to pause this again and I'll be back. Okay, so it looks like I finally did that part. Now, if you remember, uh, when this here first stopped, it said it couldn't find Libri menu. And when I was looking in my menu here, systems tools, I don't see G parted. And in graphics, I don't see X same, X same anywhere either. So, oops, let's get the S. I'm going to run this and see what it tells me. So what I'm going to do, since I can't find it, I'm just going to take it out and see what happens to the rest of the uh, applications. So, Libre menu must not be as part of the uh, software packages anymore, or at this time at least. Okay, so now it seems to be done. And now let's take a look. There we are, G parted. And in graphics, I'm hoping Xsane image scanning program. All right. So to me, using a script like this is much more faster is much faster than um, clicking on all the different applications in Synaptic or searching through them through the software store so that's the upside the downside is making sure they're all still there and available okay Close that out. And now you can see Raw Therapy, Scribus, Xsane, Luminance, HDR, LibreCAD. I'm not saying I use these all the time, but I like to have them available just in case if I do need to. Now, some of these, as you can see, they're filters for the extra for photography. All right. Thank you.